Hello and welcome to this Leeds United Match Report of Leeds losing 3-0 at home to Wolves. And, uh, well, yeah, it's not <laughs> it's a very poor game. Never really in the game. Uh, Wolves always on top. We never really stretched them. Never really uh, made their keeper. Oh, never really tested their keeper. But I'll be looking at the game, dissecting it, uh, putting my opinion on it. I'll mention put your opinion in the comment section below. Uh, so yeah, let's begin. Starting off with the lineup, which was very interesting, a bit different. He dropped the Edvold and Bourne Peacock foul at the time. I was a bit distressed by this. I thought it was maybe a poor decision. Uh, in hindsight, Peacock foul made a few good saves. The one in particular that stands out was the one-on-one, -on -one, where he came out, made himself big, and he's uh, he's uh, made a good save. For the last goal, I mean, I'd maybe like to see it again, but it struck me that he could have come out quicker. Could have maybe got there first, or if not, could he have not have stayed at home? And then maybe the three defenders around Afobe could have dealt with that scenario better. To be fair, Peacock Fowl shouldn't be put into this situation because the defence shouldn't allow Afobe to run in behind like that. But it strikes me that although Afobe finished it very well, Peacock Fowl's left himself in that situation to get lobbed by coming out and getting stuck in no man's land. He hasn't claimed the ball, he hasn't stayed in his line. Struck me that he could have done better there, but I'm not going to blame him for that. He's a young keeper coming through. And overall, was probably one of our best players on the pitch. So, yeah. Uh, the other big change was he brought Sacco in. Uh, to be honest, I didn't actually think Sacco did that badly first half. Um, but he got taken off at half-time. I mean, Sacco's never realistically going to be good enough to play for a promotion-chasing team. He'll find his level uh, low-end championship or high-end league one, won't he? He's not, he's not really a, a good enough player. To play in front of 25,000 to 30,000 fans a week. And also, when you got a striker like Lasoga who needs good service, you know, when provided good service, he will score. Well, when I'm thinking of good service, I don't think of uh, Hadi Sacco because he's bambi on ice, you know, he's, he's got no end product. So, it was an interesting decision and one he clearly felt he got wrong at half time when he took off uh, Sacco for Hernandez. In terms of the game itself, as I said, we never really tested Buddy. We never really created very many chances. I felt sorry for the soccer who was isolated up front. Even when he did win a header, who was he manic you know, even if he did hold up hold up the ball, there was no support. I did feel sorry for him. We didn't really the first half, I mean, we didn't create anything in the first half. Started alright. Then gradually Wolves got more and more into the game. As I say, Peacock Fowl made a couple of decent saves at the start. I don't want to overhype it. I think he made some saves. There was one again, uh, there was one from a volley where he's reacted quite well. And there's one where, um, just sort of a corner where he's come out and made himself big. And as I said, there was a one on one. So he's made three, well, two decent saves and one very good save. Uh, but yeah, Wolves started to open us up. They missed some very good chances. Uh, I think it was Jota who missed uh, basically nearly an well, it was an open net, but it was just slightly behind him and he couldn't convert it in. So after the, so much great build-up play from Wolves, so many times they opened us up. What's frustrating is the two, the first two goals, and the two goals that won them the match, were both from corners. Now, I wouldn't mind so much if Wolves opened us up with beautiful, intricate passing that I know they're capable of, capable of. But instead, they scored twice in the first half from corners. Something that, well, any team can, you know... We should be able to defend a corner. We should defend a set piece. The first one, the first one is in free header from about 10 yards out. We've just allowed him. I don't know who's supposed to be marking him, but we've just allowed him a free header. It's, it's disgraceful. And it annoys me so much that we actually... Four Wolves is good play. The two goals they scored in the first half were very, very avoidable. The third one, as I say, I think got foul maybe could do better. I think the defence should help him out, though. And it's, it is a good finish from a phobe. I mean, it does show how good a team they are. They got Helder Costa, they got Benic Afobe on the bench. These are these are top quality players. These are players I think you are good enough to play in the Premier League. And yet they've got them on the bench. It's incredible, I think, and you know they're they're, but uh, they're they're already a Premier League team. I've said it. I'm not going to judge them. I'm not going to judge this team too much and how they play against Wolves. They play against Reading on Saturday. I will judge them if they if they lose that game. Now we're going well. Yeah, this is this is not right. 
Yes, we've lost to Wolves. And yes, I'd like to see us actually compete in the game. But Wolves have got better players. And they've got better facilities. They've got better resources. I would expect them to beat us. And to be honest, they're the best team I've seen at Ellen Road this season. Bar maybe Fulham right at the start. But I'd probably say that Wolves were better. They were an incredible team. And it shows it shows us what we need to get out of this division. They've got um, strong players, but they've got players who are not only strong, but also great at passing. They play a certain style of football. They they're just, they were out of, out of our league, and we couldn't cope with it. Uh, but, as like I say, we've got Reading, Sheffield Wednesday and Bolton up next, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I will judge more and judge Heckingbottom more in these next three games. I want at least two wins. Realistically, from those three games, we could be winning all of them. Could win all three. But if we don't get at least two wins from those games, I'll be disappointed. Because Reading aren't a good team. They can't score. Sheffield Wednesday are down near the bottom and so are Bolton. So I see no reason why we can't go out there and get three good results. Um, but that's all for me. Make sure to your opinion in the comment section below. Oh, sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Uh, and leave a like. But otherwise, I will see you next time.